Yo, what's good people? My name is Ludwig, I'm from Austria and today I'm going to teach you throat bass and vibration bass. Let's get us started. Alright, how to do throat bass? In my opinion, it's easiest to get throat bass from just rasping your voice. Almost everyone knows this feeling when you've got something stuck in your throat and you're rasping your voice like this. <clears throat> <clears throat> This is the point where I want you to get throat bass from. You hear this little vibration, this little raspiness going on, right? <coughs> Just take this part and elongate it. So take this part, make it longer. <coughs> and you should get throat bass. It's really that simple. Once you get this vibration, you should be good to go. This is throat bass. Alright, so let's move on to vibration bass. Mm. Alright, vibration bass. In my opinion, the easiest way is to just take a throat bass and go as low as you can until your throat bass starts breaking down into vibration bass. So what I mean with that is take a throat bass, mm. go very low, as low as you can, mm. and then push it even lower and then you should get vibration bass. Another way to get vibration bass is to take a subharmonic hum from your voice, this sound, and combine it with your throat bass. How do you get this subharmonic hum? Just take a normal note and go as slow as you can with this note. So, then take your throat bass and combine it with this subharmonic cracker. And you're also going to get vibration bass. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you could learn them. If you have any problems with both techniques, DM me on at Ludwig Beatbox on Instagram. I'll help you there personally. And yeah, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel for more. And I hope I see you again very, very soon. Ludwig out.